Are you prepared? Many people today wake up without trying to plan on what they should do if some major destructive event should affect their lives. Here in the Midwest, it is as usually the threat from severe weather, but other forces could come into play. For example, although it is a remote possibility, terrorism could affect the heartland. What would most people do if a terrorist detonated a so-called dirty radioactive bomb during a major sporting event or a downtown area? That is why everyone needs to be prepared and become what modern survivalists term a prepper who is prepared for a variety of natural and man-made disaster events affecting their lives, or as we survivalists call it when shit hits the fan, SHTF. A perfect example would be the dual pandemic events in Japan of both a tsunami and nuclear accidents at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plants, which experienced three full-scale meltdowns in the spring of 2011. Residents living near the plant had to escape from both the radioactive releases of the plant itself and the tsunami-damaged area. In addition, local residents were given dubious information from the owners of the plant regarding the situation and the Japanese government. The international press raised their own questions regarding the crisis, which resulted in the U.S. government using its military resources to get factual radiological readings and later advised a 50-mile evacuation zone for long-term residency. So given such circumstances, can you trust any government or corporation? Disturbing it may be most people do not know what to do in such a situation. Most people think how do I get out of here, or try to call police or their loved ones on their cell phones, but find out the lines are jammed. For emergency situations we all need to plan ahead and have provisions and resources at our immediate disposal either on our person or in our vehicle. The term survivalists use is bug out bag or BOB for short which are now available from major retailers online and in brick-and-mortar stores. A good bug-out bag, B.O.B., will contain all you need for at least 72 hours, which is the typical time most people are without support from city, county, state or federal support organizations in a dire emergency. It usually takes that long a time for civilian authorities to get organized and respond to a mass disruption event, such as the tornado destruction in Joplin, Missouri which was almost completely destroyed. If you happen to have been living in a disaster area, you will be without the basics until help arrives. For instance, if you are at the scene of your destroyed house, waiting for insurance estimators to arrive and guarding your possessions and preoccupied with your own recovery operation, you will need emergency supplies. Walmart and military surplus stores have some quality starter BOBs that you can supplement to suit your own needs, such as their grab-and-go bags for around $50 or build your own. It is a great place to start and everyone should have one in their cars to add to their auto's own emergency kit. Some of the basics to look for in store bought BOB would be the following items, water, emergency blanket, energy bars, cell phone car charger, ET. L. Having just the basics in a bag in your car or near where you are located will make your life much easier and less dependent on others. A post-catastrophe environment will not be a friendly one and a person needs to be self-reliant and having an emergency backpack is cheap insurance to keep in the trunk of your car if the bug-out situation arises. Please note that each person in your group should have their own bag, so large families are going to have to have as large a bag as each person can carry, and do not forget water. You will thank yourself in the future when you are some of the first to escape the city during an incident, as recent history of terrorism and disasters has shown the world. You can order backpacks and other items by searching online at such sites as Sportsman's Guide or other online stores using the general keywords of survival or emergency. You might also want to supplement the bags with your own personal items, like survival knives and personal defense items. Even mainstream retailers sell bug-out bags such as Amazon, Walmart, and others, but beware as most only sell auto-emergency kits. However, almost all survivalist gear you will need can be found by looking through Sportsman's, U.S. Calvary and other websites. Prices are competitive with any brick-and-mortar store and you can find boots, knives, backpacks, food and everything else, except guns, can be found those sites. Be prepared!